Hey, what's up YouTube and Amazon? Jefferson here with Sumigang Productions. And in this video, I'll be reviewing this awesome tripod right here. This is the Zumi Q555 aluminium tripod. And I want to thank Zupu Camera Equipments for sending me this unit to review. You can find them on Amazon and I'll provide a link in the description box below. And if you use that link, you're also supporting my channel. If you don't want to support me, that's fine as well. You could just copy and paste the name onto your tab. So this tripod is my daily driver right now when it comes to tripods. My previous tripod was this guy. This right here is the Zumi Z699C carbon fiber tripod. And I liked it, but it has a few downfalls for me. And the reason being is because it just takes a lot longer compared to this tripod right here. And I'll explain in a little bit. So before I explain that downfall, I'll tell you guys the features of this tripod. The one thing about this that it does not have compared to the carbon fiber one or pretty much the other Zumi lines of their tripod is that it does not have a monopod functionality. So you're not able to convert this tripod or at least I wasn't able to and I tried looking on their Amazon page and it doesn't say that you can. So I don't think you can convert this into a monopod, but you can still get macro shots with it, getting your camera really low to the ground and it still has the ability to get really close to the ground like so with those lever locks right there. So yeah, that's one thing that might discourage you from getting this tripod, but I personally never really used the monopod feature, so I'm pretty much good on that end. So it does feature a fluid pan ball head right here and as I mentioned, it's only fluid on the panning portion. So when you twist it from left to right, you can rotate this 360 degrees. It is very, very smooth. And if you want to create a little bit of resistance, just tighten that knob and you can feel that resistance. The other knob, which is the one on the left, which has little markers on that side, that one controls the ball head itself. So when you unlock it, it moves the whole ball head right here as you guys could see the bigger knob controls the resistance of the ball head so you guys could see right here it is moving around crazy but if i twist this knob it slows down and uh, to the point where you can't even move it so that's a really awesome feature that they include on here it also uses the arca swiss quick release plate right here and i love that because majority of my tripods uses the Arca Swiss quick release plate. So I got the plate right here that comes included with this tripod. And the thing about that is that the actual quarter inch knob, it does not use a butterfly switch right here. So you do need to use a flathead or a coin to tighten it up. Not much of a big issue, but it's definitely something to take note of. It also uses these Allen screws right here as a safety precaution and what i mean by that is when you place your let me just lock this up when you place your camera in if you forget to fully lock your quick release plate in it prevents it you guys could see it's wiggling around you could hear it it prevents it from falling forward and back that's a definite huge feature, at least for me, and I'm sure about you guys as well. So that's a really awesome feature right there. If you did want to take out the whole thing, it's not hard at all. You guys could just remove it, put it on, and just tighten the whole knob like so. So it's a very useful feature. This ball head also features a spirit level right here. You guys could see, so if you did want this leveled, uh, you guys could just look at that. I recommend making sure that's visible. So you do have to play around with your quick release play when installing to your camera so you could see this a little better. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the ball head. There are markers on the panning portion to know how much you're rotating as in degree wise and also for the 
ball head itself so it's a very basic ball head it's great for photographers because you can just pretty much move it in any position you want I don't recommend this for videography however I do use this tripod right here this is the Koli Hoda video tripod head and the reason being it also has a fluid pan head but it also has a fluid tilt head as well so you're able to get very smooth tilt shots and it also has a very long handle right here so you could get really nice shots so that's something I definitely recommend or at least taking a look into uh, if you guys are getting a tripod that has this kind of uh, ball head right there so it's not much of a big deal you're still able to get tilt shots on this tripod head but it's not going to be as fluid and precise compared to getting one specifically made for video all right, so here's the main reason why I absolutely love this tripod. And if you guys wanna watch my comparison video compared to my Q555 with my Z699C carbon fiber tripod, make sure you guys click in the annotation right here and it will take you to that video. All right, so here's the moment you might be wondering why I absolutely love this. Here are two features why. One, it uses the lever locks to extend and collapse the whole tripod. So push those levers out, extend it in, push them in, and that's it. It's so much faster using these lever locks compared to using the twist locks. Let me show you real quick so you don't have to go to that video to see the comparison. When you have twist locks, you do have to twist it, collapse it, and then twist the whole thing, right? Let me unscrew everything and tighten all the legs as well. So it does take a lot longer or a little bit longer, but for me, time is money. So it does take a lot longer to actually expand all the legs on my carbon fiber one compared to this one. So if you did want to, boom, boom, boom. It is so much faster as you guys saw. The other thing about this one is that the legs actually expands a lot more consistent. So what I mean by that, when you bring the legs in and you did want to expand them, when you unlock it, it just falls down like that. My carbon fiber one, it sometimes fall down, but it depends on the angle. Sometimes it gets caught up and it doesn't expand all the way and you do have to check it. But with this one, it seems like it's a lot more consistent. So you could bring all the legs in and then expand it like so. Lock it in and then you are done. So that's one reason why I absolutely love this tripod. The other reason is on the neck itself. So let me show you on my carbon fiber. Okay, so on my carbon fiber tripod, when I loosen the neck, like so when you extend it it rotates the actual camera as you guys could see right here so that might not be a big issue for you but there is numerous times with this one where i have my camera facing forward i expand it and for whatever reason it sometimes just rotates i don't know if you have that issue but it sometimes rotates when you lock it in you have to readjust the camera and it's a slight annoyance but an annoyance nonetheless compared to this one it not only has it on the legs as well but on the neck it has a little indentation right here which prevents any twisting of the pan head so that part cannot rotate at all and I love that because it ensures my camera direction faces the same direction as it was meant to be and it's also featured on the legs as well so it doesn't rotate in any other uh, direction where it's not necessary. So that's definitely something to take into consideration why I love this tripod. You're also able to remove the tripod head obviously and when you remove it, I don't know if you guys know this, but the tripod head usually takes 3 8 inch mounts right here. But the cool thing about this is that it supports two mounting screws right here. So one is a default 3 8 and then if you flip it towards the other direction, 
It also has a quarter inch adapter for it, which is really awesome and brilliant. It's super easy to adjust. Just make sure this one comes in first. And then next, put your screw in. Just screw it in a little bit and then tighten it with this little circle adapter right here. And then that's it. You could just mount any other tripod head that you guys want, like my video tripod head. When you guys do install your tripod head, make sure you hold the base of the tripod head and not the actual unit itself because you will mess up your panning portion of your tripod and it's just going to it's not going to be a good thing for you guys so that's pretty much it for the uh, ball head portion the actual legs itself is very very strong i could push down right here and it's pretty much not going anywhere if you apply enough pressure it will go down but for the most part it actually does not go down at all all right so the other thing about this aluminum tripod compared to my uh, carbon fiber tripod is the height even though this tripod is a four section three lock tripod so there's four legs right here and there's only three locks on the legs my aluminum is actually taller than my carbon fiber which the carbon fiber is a five leg four lock tripod so one two three four five and then there's four locks on this one with the neck lowered and the legs extended my aluminium is significantly taller compared to my carbon fiber the carbon fiber one reaches to my sternum level a little bit and the aluminium reaches a little bit above my chest going towards my neck line right here and when you extend the neck, the neck on my carbon fiber is a two lock combination. And the aluminum only has a one lock lever, but even if it's a one lock lever, look, it's still taller than my carbon fiber. So I'm roughly about five feet, five inches tall. And the carbon fiber reaches my lip area compared to the aluminum. It hits my forehead right above my forehead going towards my hair so it's almost the same height as me as you guys could see right there so that's pretty much it when it comes to this tripod not much of a big difference when comparing it towards my other tripod that I use it has all the same features except the monopod feature and I like how this one is personally if you guys have any questions or comment, be sure to leave them in the comment box below. I'm more than willing to answer any questions you guys may have. If you guys like this video, or if you just found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps on my channel. Like always, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day. It is working really, really well. Other than that, that's pretty much it. This is the Uplay smartphone gimbal from Bella TV. I highly recommend.